Good morning everyone, welcome back to Texas. Today we are doing a kind of, and Paul's creeping in the background getting his laundry, we're kind of doing like a Texas day, like stereotypical Texas day, so we are going to Bucky's because we have been told that we absolutely have to go. We're also going to go to Target, but that's really only because I need another SD card because I didn't pack any apart from this one. We're going to a shooting range because this one wants to shoot some guns. And later on tonight, I think we're going to a restaurant where we can get some good steak. So yeah, you guys are going to come along with us as we make memories, as always, and uh, I'm excited. Okay, so we were told that Bucky's is a number of things. So far it's a car wash and a gas station. And we were told that the premise of it is that there's, you never can't get a pump. Which I kind of believe because there's a million things. So we're going in here now. So we're going to park. Are you with his horse? And oh, there's a pony. Um, and we were told that they have the cleanest bathrooms, or if you're American, restrooms, in America or something, so... In America? Like, highway side of the road bathrooms, they're the cleanest or something. That's what we were told. Is that something? It's not a restaurant, but it does food. It's not a shop, but it sells stuff. God knows. We're told it's a Texas experience, so we're going. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. I really should almost take my sunglasses off even though I can't see. It's big. There's a lot. So far I'm getting the vibe of... It's like side of the road service station, but enormous is what I'm getting. Like, yeah, like this is... Oh my god, they're all... <laughs> there's like Bucky's crisps. What is this? All the jerky you could ever want. So many different flavors. They even have their own merchandise. This is super American. Isn't this like a Halloween thing? Candy corn. You heard of candy corn? It's, I don't know. But some Americans love it and some really hate it. I think these From are what I know. Nice. What ones? Sour balls. Yeah. You wanna get some sour balls? Yes. Okay. Okay, it's absolutely cracking me up that these are called beaver nuggets. Well, my friends were right. Everything is absolutely beaver themed. There you go. <laughs> I need Paul to try this on. Where is he? He's hiding from me. Paul! Paul! Hello! Try it on. You know you want to. I think, yeah, I gave it to you. That way, yeah. There you go. You look very silly. This little doggy biscuit is so cute. It says you are possum. You think they will stay whole in the plane? Mm, I want to see the date on it. Like maybe... As long as it doesn't go out of date, it'll be fine. We're getting this for whiskey. This is very cute. I woof you. And hopefully it stays in one piece in the plane. We're gonna get in these too. They have bacon and cheese, they have sweet potato, and they also have peanut butter. But whiskey loves cheese, so I think we're gonna get in this. So I am completely obsessed with mud pie, which is a brand of homeware stuff. I saw it the last time I was here. And I want to buy everything for the kitchen, but obviously I can never really take um, anything home. Which is such a shame because I love it. Like, life is what you bake it. Brownie points. Like, how cute is this? Ugh, oh, how annoying. I'm saying, I've lost my husband, but I've found him. He's at the food. Okay, yeah. Restrooms were very clean. But I think the reason that a lot of Americans, oh god, it, that's really bright. That's, that's really bright. I think the reason most Americans think those bathrooms are so good is because they don't have like the gaps in the stalls. 
Like they're not the classic kind of metal gaps install type that we Europeans don't like anyway. They're like proper, they're like the bathrooms we have back home with doors that actually close properly. But they are very clean. Okay, so yeah, it was definitely a bit of an experience. It's basically a massive service station if you're from the UK or Europe. So yeah, it has some food, it has some like little shop, like little clothes, um, food, gas, toilets, etc. But it's like quite clean and more upscale than a standard service station. The only thing I will say, don't get the food there. Don't. Like it's lunchtime, we were hungry, I got a wrap, Paul got a pulled pork sandwich, neither of us enjoyed either of them. So I would say if you're gonna if you've never been to Bucky's, if you're not American, don't get the food there. The food we've had until now has been delicious. I've had a lot of Tex Mex. We went to Chewy's when we were in San Antonio, which is just ugh, that jalapeno dip is just incredible. Um, we also actually ate at a taco place yesterday for lunch and then last night for dinner we went to a place called Anthony's, which I'd been bef to before with my family, and it's a little bit on the expensive side, but the food is gorgeous. I had chicken, Paul had teriyaki steak with jasmine rice, my mom had shrimp, it was stunning. Tonight is also a bit more of an expensive place, um, but it's come very highly recommended, so I think we're gonna go with my mum. But as for the current moment, we are about to head to Target. Paul's never been before, I've been, when I've been in Orlando, not planning on buying anything, but you know what it's like in Target. I might see something that I like. Ooh. Okay, the one thing I've come in here for, we can't find. An SD card. We're in the right place, but it's all like headphones and charger cables. I did pick this up for the house. Because it's super light, I can easily put it in my case, but... No SD card. Uh-oh. I did find the SD cards, but I ended up just getting yet another one of these because um, it was cheaper. But now I have three, but the two that I do have I left at home, so I need to start remembering that. And uh, Paula has now wandered into the toy section for dogs. Of course. Ooh, is this a big octopus? Mm. <laughs> it's a squid. He would love these. He He would actually, I'm not going to lie. We already got him a stingray. As long as I don't have a baby to spoil, I'm gonna spoil my dog. Uh, I cannot get over how cheap Ben and Jerry's is here. Like with us, it's almost seven euros, which is like nine dollars for a pint. Well, I ended up putting that little key hanger board thing back because I was like, yeah, I don't like it that much after all. So I just got the thing for my SD card. But PetSmart is right next to Target, so Paul has wrote me into coming in to spoil our puppy. <laughs> and he's going straight for the fish. Of course he is. Ew. No. no. What is in here? I mean, we've held them before. Spider, spider. I don't see him. That was a scorpion. Not a guinea pig. It's a skinny pig. Hairless guinea pigs. Oh, you little thing, you look weird Those as naked fuck. guinea pigs. These are better. These are cuter. Yeah. These are so expensive, but I'm so tempted to get them. But what I've basically done is just looked at what's in it. And I'm just going to add these to Whiskey's food myself. He already gets a lot of them. He already gets broccoli, carrots, apples, and spinach quite regularly. So, but it's a cool idea. Didn't take much convincing. Um, we're going to IHOP. Yes. Yes. <sighs> we managed, huh? Are you full? Yes. <laughs> they do give you a lot here. Oh my god, these pancakes are delicious. All right, we are. I think is this the Brown Building? to the Texas Gun Club, which is the one that was recommended to us by my cousin, uh, to go and shoot some firearms. I am not shooting anything. I had my little turn the last time I was in Texas. I'll leave the link below to that video if you want to go and see it. 
but Paul when in Texas is going to shoot some stuff hopefully not me so I'll be on my best behavior Like, oh my god, when it was so loud in there, but when I did it, it was outdoors. Yeah. So obviously the sound disperses a bit better. I can still feel in it in my ears. In here, like, that was so loud. I kind of got used to it towards the end. Mm. But the beginning, I was like, ah, ah, jumping every single time. But I know we've said it on TikTok, but how did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was definitely a fun experience, fun thing to do, but uh, I thought I was going to enjoy it way more than I actually did. Like, mm. fire guns, firearms are scary. Fire guns. Fire guns. Fire, fire guns are scary. They are scary, no, I'm did not going to lie. Environment. And I think I did it safely, like always keep the gun, like head towards where you're going to shoot well, it even when you're loading it. Yeah, I mean, this place is, if you're going to shoot a gun for the first time, come to a gun club like this that has proper yeah. regulations and waivers and safety and someone that's going to be there to be like, here, this is how you load the gun, this is how you hold the gun. Making yeah, okay. sure you're doing it all properly. Don't go where I went last time, some backwoods shooting range in Bandera. And this random guy was just like, you want to shoot a gun? What gun? Okay, here's a gun. And I was like, I don't know how to shoot it. Like, what? And he was like, oh, okay, I'll come with you. You know, that was a bit... Ugh. But here, they're, everything's good, above board, etc. And yeah. I'm glad you did it. Yes. Are you glad you did it? I'm glad that I think I would have regretted it if I wouldn't have done it. But yeah, I wouldn't necessarily. You don't need to do it again. That's why I, I now was like, he, he actually made me Andy, the little guy that came to help us. He was lovely. And he was like, no, 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 you have to have a turn. And he did. And that was fine. So I shot the handgun a couple of times. But I, I really wasn't fast. Though. I was like, well, come for Paul. Paul can shoot it. And yeah. We made it. It seems quite busy, but they don't have a, like, you can't make a reservation, you just have to wait. So, I guess we'll see. But it's already 7 and Americans tend to eat a little bit earlier, I feel, like if they're a family and stuff. So, let's see. Oh, are you wearing proper attire? Okay, so at Taste of Texas, the wait time was like an hour and 45 minutes, and we have a very hungry man here, so, um, we decided to go with the one suggestion we hadn't done yet that I got told to do. So on my polls of social media, I asked, what should we do when we're in Texas? And like Bucky's was one, we did that. Go to Shooting Range, obviously we did that. Go to SeaWorld, etc. The only thing we hadn't done yet was Texas Roadhouse, which is where we are now. You can't really see the sign, but it's where we are. There is a little bit of a wait, but she said between 30 and 45 minutes. So it's not as bad. So we're just sitting on a bench outside and we're gonna see what it's like oh you can see the sign over here texas roadhouse but as far as what i suspect it is i think it's texas barbecue and once again i forgot to vlog the food but it was very good wasn't it the steak was delicious it was seasoned really well the only issue very 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 creamy mashed potato always uh not a fan and i don't blame him there was a lot of cream yeah.